Hey guys, it's Jess, and I am just getting the camera set up and ready to go here. I feel like it's been forever since we've been live. Um, I have not been feeling the best, so it's been a little bit. I wasn't on, on Wednesday as I normally am, but I'm back trying to get back into the swing of things, basically. Uh, so I figured tonight that we would go ahead and try to make some cards with the September Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard box. The theme for this box is sweater weather, which is the best weather. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited about this box and its contents. Uh, so I figured that I would really, really like to get some cards made with this one. Hey, Fatima. Oh, I didn't know that. A lot of other people have been sick. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm a little scratchy. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Heidi. I'll do my best not to clear my throat too much, but I <sighs> can't make any promises. <laughs> Hello, Rain Dancer. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to kind of go to town and see what I can create during our time. Um, let me know what you guys think about the lighting. I actually got two new lights on either side uh, from Ikea that I'm trying out for the first time, and I think it's better. I think it's taking away from the, the major glare. It's not quite as bad as it was before, and it's uh, not as dark as it was the last couple weeks. I don't know what was going on exactly, but I think this is helping, so let me know if you guys feel like the lighting is better. Um, I'm always looking for ways to improve and have things just look a little bit more professional. <laughs> um, oh no, Luisana is sick. I didn't know that. Well, I'm going to have to message her after I get off here because I did not realize. Um, poor girl. Uh, okay, so... Here's what I'm gonna do. I want to do some ink blending, I think. And I want to do, I definitely wanna use the stencil. Uh, but I had an idea. Um, oh no, her tummy was upset. That's the worst, I hate stomach stuff. I mean, the congestion and all that is annoying and it's whatever, but like, just feeling nauseated and stuff, ugh. Um, hi Belinda, hi Stacy. Okay, so I saw this idea on Pinterest, and I don't know if I can pull it off, because, you know, I'm not going to try to, like, copy the exact card, but I liked the idea, and the idea was that you kind of had, like, a swooping sort of motion with the leaves, uh, and then you had, like, lots of colors and stuff with that, so I was thinking that I might try some of that out. I'm gonna be using some of my blocks from scrapbook.com that I recently got. This is my older one from Michaels. This is the one that I had my Nuvo explosion on. Um, but I still use that a lot. And these ones I actually just recently got from scrapbook.com. They're super thick, which I thought I wasn't going to like, but I actually really do like it. Hey, Angela, do you know when this set ships to subscribers? That's a good question. I don't. Um, let me look and see if she's got anything updated on their website. I don't know the date that it normally starts shipping. I would have thought, um, well, it says to subscribe by the 10th of the month. So, uh, yes, it, so it says it will ship on or after September 10th. So hopefully really soon. <laughs> hey, Wisa. Um, but yeah, so I really like these acrylic blocks. I thought that the thickness was going to bother me, but I actually really like it because it really lets me get a good placement without having my hands in the way. This one I did sometimes have issues and like I felt like I had to hold it from the top. Um, and this one I can really just like plop right down, which is really nice. Um, and it comes in a bunch of sizes. So uh, you can get a kit too, I think, but there's a giant one also. So there's like a small, a medium, and a large. I really like it. Um, okay, so let's do some stamping and just see what we can come up with. Now what I'm thinking is I might do each, um, can I do that? I was going to say I might do each leaf in a different color, but I don't know because I didn't necessarily want all of the black outlines. Um, hmm. Why don't we do, 
how dark is this? I'm just gonna test this on a piece of scrap paper. Uh, that's pretty dark. So this color is called Pebble. And then there's Flagstone, which I apparently have not opened in the alcohol version, but I thought that this one was oops, pretty dark. Oh yeah, that's even darker. All right, so this one's more of like a brown gray and this one is more of a dark, um, dark gray. Okay, so I don't think either of those is really gonna work. I was kind of looking, I don't have like a fade out ink or anything like that. <gasps> Look, it got dark. You guys see that? It was all bright. I'm wondering if my camera is like auto focusing or something and it's changing the light because it got dark comparatively. My, um, my lighting was really good at the beginning and then now I feel like it's getting, it's gotten darker. That's so weird. Huh. That's irritating. I wonder if there's a setting, cause it's just my phone. So I don't know why it would be doing that all of a sudden and not having done that in the past, but it's definitely darker and that irritates me because I just went out and got new lights. But I don't know how you even change that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know you guys. That's really frustrating. Huh. I don't know. I'm like trying to adjust my lights and see. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't updated my phone recently because I'm being bad. Um, darker with shadows. There's a setting to save energy. Yeah, it's got, it's an iPhone 7 Plus. That's really irritating because I've been really frustrated, to be honest, with the light. <laughs> um, it's been really bothering me. All right, I'm gonna grab some Distress Oxides then. Um, I'm gonna do, hey Georgia. I'm just gonna grab a couple of my go-to colors. All right, let's start with this and see where we get. In settings, go to display and turn off night shift. I don't know that I can do it while we're live, um, but I will definitely try that, Fatima. Thank you so much. I don't think I can do it while we're on, but, oh, there's a leaf over there. That's weird. <laughs> um, this little leaf stamp was on top of my cloth, my little fiber, microfiber cloth. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is start with the light colors and then I'll kind of build it up. Uh, so basically what I'm gonna do is um, start in the upper corner here and I'm going to um, kind of do like a swooping across sort of pattern. I don't know if this is gonna look nice or not. <laughs> it could be a total like fail, I'm not sure, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. So I'm just gonna do this one type of leaf first, um, and then we'll kind of change things up and add in the other colors, I think. Um, we'll do that one right there. Um, I think that might actually be good for that one. Okay, so that was Antique Linen. Set that over there. Then let's do Rusty Hinge. Uh, I don't need that leaf. Okay, let's do, and I've got an acorn too. So basically I'm just trying to use a different leaf color for each leaf image. There's a few different, I think four different leaf images in this uh, stamp set. So, uh, and I think I am going to overlap some of them as the colors get darker. Um, I'm not gonna overlap at all of it, but I do kind of wanna make it look more like a cluster, like all the leaves are like blowing. So some of them will be on top of others uh, and that's okay. I hope this turns out cool. <laughs> 
like I was saying, I saw an image on Pinterest that kind of gave me the idea of like the leaves blowing in a, like a little swirly, blustery sort of pattern. And I really liked that. So hopefully it turns out. But why don't you guys talk to me? Tell me about your weeks. Did any of you guys send little ones off to school this week? What do you guys got going on? Let's chat. I feel like we haven't been around each other in a while. <laughs> um, feel free to share the video if you'd like to in any Facebook groups that you guys might be in so we can get some more friends in here chatting it up. Um, oh, thank you, Fatima. Yes, the thumbs up definitely help. Oh my gosh, you guys want to hear something really exciting and kind of weird? So I have a video out from February when I did a live stream of myself, obviously, um, using Simon Hurley's line uh, when I first got it. And uh, it just, it passed 10,000 views. It's a live stream and it has over 10,000 views, which is insane. <laughs> I just saw that today and I was like, what in the world is going on? Like, why does this video have so many views? Um, I just think that's so crazy. Work eight hours today on your day off. No, that sounds awful, Tracy. <laughs> That's not a good day. Not in my opinion, anyway. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, went to Disney over the weekend. Got to hang out with my oldest niece. Now that sounds awesome. I've never been to Disney. Ever. <laughs> uh, just got the caroling stamp set. Can't wait to make Christmas cards. Yes. I love that caroling squad stamp set. Um, are any of you guys going to make it to Simon's event in New Jersey? I don't know if anybody is local up there. Um, hi, Arlene. Angela says she had a big week. Worked 54 hours last week. Oh, inventory time. Yes, I bet you're breathing a sigh of relief. <laughs> That's always so nice when stuff like that comes to an end, for sure. I think this is kind of turning out cute. Uh, it's got, you know, the little swoopy motion that we were going for. I think, so I was, maybe I'll add one more color in because I've still got the acorn. Uh, or maybe, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch. <gasps> You're heading to Iowa this weekend. What part? Um, I used to live in Iowa. <laughs> That's really cool. And congratulations, Maxwell. I don't know where that is. I have so much to learn. <laughs> I'm not sure where that is. The joys of being an accountant with deadlines. Oh no, north of Des Moines. Okay, so when I lived there, I don't know if we've talked about this before. When I lived there, I lived in um, like Cedar Rapids. So um, Cedar Rapids, uh, North Liberty, Iowa City sort of area. Going this Friday to see my nephew get his promotion to major in the Air Force. That's awesome. Congrats. That's really cool. Stuff like that is so exciting. You guys, I think that this is so cute. <laughs> All right, so I think what I want to do is just, I'm going to try to color these so that we have a little bit more interest. Now I don't know because I don't think I've ever tried to color with alcohol markers on distress oxides. Does anyone happen to know if I color with distress or if I color with alcohol markers on distress oxides, is it going to ruin my stamped images? <clears throat> I love fall too. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Um, cause I can try, obviously I can't use water because then it will oxidize it. Um, oh, that's worse. <laughs> I was trying to find like a better, yeah, test on the scrap. I suppose I should do that. You guys are so smart. <laughs> um, let me grab my color chart here and try to match up the colors as best as I can. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to go a little lighter than... Uh, let's do BO2. It's a little bright, but um, let's see. Oh, 
I think we'll be okay. I'm not going to go too crazy coloring them in, so I think it should be fine. All right, so here's what I want to do. I think I'm going to take two colors for each one. So I think I'm going to do like a yellow. Um, let's do, let's try like a light yellow. So I'm going to start here. And the nice thing is, I think that the darker colors will just go right over top of the ink from the lighter colors, theoretically, if I choose my colors wisely. Uh, and then I won't have to even worry about masking, really. The only thing is, I didn't really think about it kind of blending too much. I might add in a little bit of, um, I might add in a little bit of brown maybe. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. <laughs> um, I just recently got some new uh, browns, so I've been really excited about that. And you know what? If they overlap, I'm not really worried about it, to be honest, because it's just supposed to be a fun, whimsical card. Like, I don't need it to be perfectly masked off or whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is you could use a water pen and draw the colors this, uh, to the center. Yeah, okay, so I thought about the water pen, but with the Distress Oxides, it will... I mean, it's going to smudge and oxidize. Whoops, I colored the wrong part. Okay, well, this is what I was going to tell you I was going to do anyway, which was I'm going to color the whole thing this one color, and then I'm going to do the darker on the top. Because, like, acorns usually have kind of a lighter bottom and then a darker top. At least the acorns where I live do. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> um, but so I'm just planning to color it all in this really nice light brown color and then I'm going to darken up the top. These are so cute. I just love these little images. The acorn is adorable. It would be really cute to pair like if you had any squirrel images <laughs> or like with a cute little um, a cute little sentiment that said something like nuts about you or you drive me nuts. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, my husband and I have a different sort of relationship. <laughs> I mostly just antagonize him. But he still loves me for some reason. <laughs> uh, oh, it was so hot. Yes, it's been very hot here too. Um, I'm kind of just ready for the fall weather, to be honest. I'm kind of over summer, although... I think we've talked about this before, like, I like the idea of summer, but then when it actually comes time for being in the heat, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Just, ugh. Yeah, nuts about you would be so super cute. I'm pretty sure I probably have a stamp set somewhere that says that. <laughs> probably do. Alright, so I'm just kind of blending this out. I'm not trying to be too fancy, but I do want to give it a little bit of dimension just so they're not, you know, flat, plain images. Um, and I do think I'm going to add just a little bit of darker color to the outer edge just to dress it up a little bit more. Uh, no, we did not really get, I mean, we got some, the schools were closed on Friday. Um, but we mostly, we, we got wind and a little bit of rain. We didn't get too much, which was very fortunate. Um, yeah, we didn't really get a whole lot. We were predicted to get a bunch and then it just sort of didn't happen. Um, so we were very, very lucky. The kids got to stay home. Well, Kieran, Ben didn't have school. <laughs> He's only two. He doesn't go to school yet. But, yeah, so um, it was nothing to be concerned about for us. I mean, we had a few, like, siding panels or something that came loose. Um, but nothing big at all. All right. 
So I'm just blending out this color so that it kind of has a more gradual, even look to it. And then we will move on. I am going to add a little bit right underneath here, which might not add a whole lot because it already has that dark bit down at the bottom. Um, but it's all right. Okay. Um, hi, Eliza. I saw I Dream of Jeannie Av or Street. Not sure which it was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. I've never been to any of those places. They seem really cool. I would like to go sometime. Um, all right, let me see. What color do I want to do? Maybe like TN2. Ooh, I'm getting a little better at matching these colors. <laughs> the only bad thing is I am kind of buffing out the lines because the color is so similar. Like I maybe should have chosen a slightly lighter color, but that's okay. Um, we will make it work. <laughs> um, and then it kind of is naturally just going in behind the acorn, so that's kind of cool. Um, now the only thing is, I was a little rough with this marker, so the end is not quite as sharp as it used to be, so um, it's a little tougher to get kind of in the little nooks and crannies, but hopefully um, I won't have too much trouble. Also, did you guys hear that Spectrum Noir has redone their illustrator markers? Um, I have a few that should be on the way shortly. I'm not getting like the whole collection at first or anything because I still haven't even finished my collection of these. But I wanted to try some out and I may slowly as I re like as I run out of the ink in these markers, I may just replace each one individually with the illustrators if I like them. Now I did a live video a while back where I tried them out and I did not like the old illustrators because um, the tips got all frayed and crazy and like they didn't, I don't know, I just did not like them. I didn't feel like they were good quality. I feel like these ones are better quality than the old illustrators but they have reformulated them and they got a new nib which is like a fancy Japanese nib uh, and it's supposed to be really good. I've heard really, really good things about them. So I hope that um, I will love them. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go through and color all of these orange uh, stamped ones in yellow. But you can see here that I just colored right over it and the line just sort of disappeared, which is, oh, I hope you can see that. I don't know if you can. Let's see, there's a little bit of a delay. So because this is a darker color combination, mm, can't really see it that very well. Uh, I don't know, my lighting's not that great apparently. Um, but it just overrode it basically. And so I don't even have to worry about masking, which is amazing. <laughs> I like that. I like to not have to worry about masking things off. Um, that makes me very happy. <laughs> and I think what I'm gonna do, so I do have some kind of bigger open areas in here. I think I'm going to um, I think I'm gonna add in like some little dots maybe or some little swirls that I can hand draw or something in maybe like a light gray or a tan or something like that um, instead of the wedge and oh they say last two to three ugh that stinks yeah when you spend so much money on a product you should definitely oh I knew what you meant. <laughs> Um, you should definitely get good use out of them. Like it shouldn't be, oh, I use this expensive marker once or twice or three times um, and then I have to get a new one. Like that's not how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to invest and spend a little bit more but get quality products, not spend a bunch more and get subpar products that you have to replace immediately. I don't like that. <laughs> All of us have a limited amount of money, or at least most of us, have a limited amount of money that we can spend on crafty things 
and I am not interested in spending a bunch of money and then having to re replace it all because it craps out. Not my thing. <laughs> not a fan of that at all. Okay, I really like this yellow and orange combo. I think this is super cute. Um, so I'm just adding in some kind of like that flicking motion that I usually do for hair. Um, I'm just sort of flicking it out, not anything fancy. I'm going to go back in and add a little more color towards the center. Yeah. I think that color is really nice. Um, yes, that puts a damper on it for sure. It's like, even if you love the product and, it, and if you love the company and you want to support them, I mean... There's only so much you can do if you're having to replace the product constantly. Like eventually, you're just gonna have to look elsewhere, um, unless they take the you know the suggestion or the feedback or whatever and improve the product. So I mean, I know that Spectrum Noir has definitely done that. They've been listening to people who were unhappy with the product, and it took them a little while, but they were able to reformulate it, which I think is awesome. Okay, I really like that orange. That super brightens it up. I think I am gonna need to go back in. Let's try with the yellow. Ooh, yes. Um, I'm just gonna add like a little bit of the, like the leaf, what is that called? Oh, for colors being discontinued? What? Okay, in my Hobby Lobby, never has anything on sale. Well, not anything. But I called and asked. I was like, hi, I was just calling to find out if you guys have, you know, the Copic sketch markers on clearance. Because um, I had been seeing so many people posting about it. And um, the lady was just like, um, no, we don't. Like, she didn't sound like she really knew what I was even talking about. But she was just like, no. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but it's like a 40-minute drive for me to go there. So I can't just, like up and go you know what I mean like I have to know in advance that they're gonna be there because I really wanted to go and get some but I'm not doing that <laughs> not doing that um okay I'm gonna add a little bit of Ooh, that was a little darker than I thought I wanted to add a little bit of shading to my little um acorns I felt like they look a little weird <laughs> Um, but I'm not going to go the darkest color, so I'm just going to add a little bit to the sides here, like so. That one's not really going to get much, and then I'm going to blend it out with my lightest color. So cute. I'm like really obsessed with this little acorn. It's adorable. And I'm not even bothering to like color all the way across, but I think that this makes a big difference. It just gives it a little bit of oomph, you know? You guys know how I feel about my oomph. <laughs> so I have all the Spectrum Noir markers. Why would I need to buy Copics too? Copics are really good. I love my Copic markers. Like, I love them. <laughs> Um, and I do use my, I haven't been using them because I'm on the Spectrum Noir design team. So I've definitely been using the, um, the Spectrum Noir markers more. Um, and I've kind of been neglecting my Copic markers, but I would say, so I don't know anything about the discontinuation of the markers, but the sketch markers versus the chow markers, it, that does make a big difference. Like what kind of marker you use. Oh, how cute is this? This is so cute. All right, we gotta do the brown one still. Um, let's do, oh, this is kind of like a reddish though. Um, what do I have? I have, hmm, hmm. I do have some red browns, so let's try that. Let's try, these are new to me, so I have not used these yet, but I have an RB2. Ooh, that's awesome. Stacy. that is really fast. Oh my gosh, Eliza, I saw those. Those are so cute. <laughs> uh, the Cricut uh, Easy Press Mini or whatever it is. So adorable. <laughs> Those things are so cute. Okay, this is a little darker than I thought it was gonna be. 
um, it's going to kind of wash out the color again. So I may switch over and use this one for the highlight or the, or not highlight, but the shading portions because it's kind of, well, you can still kind of see it. Um, let's see. What's the other, um, RB1, I have an RB1, but it doesn't really look that much lighter. Let's try it over here. Oh, no, it is quite a bit lighter, but it does still have that red tone, which is nice. All right, so let's go with this one. And it's okay to have some variation. All the leaves are different colors. <laughs> I really like the way that this is turning out. Like, how cute is this? And again, I just went right over the orange spot. And there's a little bit of that color showing through in my coloring, but it's not much. Yeah, I really like this. This is so cute. And this is so easy. I mean, it's taking a little bit of time because I'm kind of like thinking all through. But if you had like a layout already planned, um, this would be pretty fast and you could even um, like do it once and then lay the leaves each one of each of the leaves and the acorn whatever where you want them stamp it like a bunch of times and then move them and then stamp it again so you could do like you know kind of an assembly line sort of style with them that could be cool because then you could make a bunch of them you could do the same sort of card with Christmas stuff. So you could do like little snowflakes. That would be really cute. Um, the squirrels from MFT. Oh my gosh. You know I love me some MFT. <laughs> um, so I, I have been, uh, I recently, well I did an unboxing. You guys saw it. Um, I did that little unboxing of my order from scrapbook.com and I had the heffy doodle stuff in there. I had been dying to use all that stuff and I finally got a chance to and I made um, a card using two of the sets at least. Um, and I really, really like the way that it turned out. I'll show it to you guys in a little bit if you haven't seen it yet on social media. I'm just trying to darken up the centers a little bit so that there's a little bit of variation in the color. Um, uh oh, I bought a Copic one time. You know, you take them to the front, you don't even get to touch them. Oh my gosh, what? They said that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I would definitely not be accepting that. Like, that is not okay. Okay, you guys. This is so cute. <laughs> um, and I actually stopped buying Copics, by the way, at Michael's for the most part because they all they have them at the front, or at least they did. I don't know if they still do. But they had them at the front, like in the checkout line, so that basically that you couldn't steal them as easy, I think. Um, but they had them just like out to be tested. And so all the markers were filthy. They'd all been used by like five-year-olds who were like pushing super hard and destroying the nibs. And I got several markers that were not okay. And so they're still in stock. They're still showing that they're available, but no, <laughs> I was so mad. So I, I took mine back and they, luckily they were willing to refund them, but nope, nope, nope. <laughs> All right, so this sentiment is probably perfect. It says, the leaves are falling and autumn is calling. Um, oh, under lock and key, oh my gosh. Oh, but in the aisle. I think that my Michaels probably has recently changed this, but they used to just be in the aisle. I mean, it, yeah, in the checkout aisle. Can't I can't believe that. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm just gonna stamp this right over top. Hi, Deborah. Um, because I kind of like that. Maybe down here. I don't know. Now I'm trying to decide. I want to, okay, I don't want to cover this up because this is so cute, this little pattern that we made. 
Um, what I think I'm going to do first before I do my stamping is... Oh, here too, they switched earlier in the year. Okay, so maybe mine are under, maybe they have a lot of complaints or maybe they realized that all their inventory was getting damaged <laughs> because that's a serious concern. Those are expensive markers. Um, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do before I move on is try to add in some of the little dots and swirls that I was talking about. So I think, I'm nervous to do this, but I think I'm just going to kind of start um, adding in little dots because I kind of want to fill in some of this space, you know, like I don't want it to seem uh, so open necessarily. I want it to seem like it's kind of kicked up. And it has like, I don't know, dirt or some something. I don't know. <laughs> Sales rep told me because they were losing so many. Ah, hmm. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense. Because you think like someone could pick one up and then walk to the other side of the store and then put it down and then they don't find it for three weeks. And then meanwhile, they've put it as lost inventory or whatever. Um, that's just a disaster. <laughs> Not something I would want to be in charge of or have to keep track of for sure. Uh, I think that this is going to make this like even cuter. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this. Like seriously. Um, so I'm just going to go back through and add kind of like a couple little extra ones to some of them. Now it's kind of hard because uh, it's these are not like the finest points, <laughs> so it's not exactly um, easy, I guess. I don't know, like to get tiny little dots, but I'm going to do my best. Oh, this one has kind of like a finer, um, a finer point. That's kind of cool. Um, I really like this. I think that this is so cute. You guys let me know what you think. Am I ruining this or is this a good addition? <laughs> um, I have one manager opens it for me and lets me get what I need. Another manager stands over and carries them to the front like you're a thief. Oh, see, that's not a good feeling. And I mean, I understand, you know, they're losing inventory. That's money. The managers are responsible for that. They have to take, you know, accountability and whatever. But I think that there's definitely something to be said for tact and, um, you know, not making your customers feel gross about buying something. <laughs> I don't know. That makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't like that. Um... You totally don't have to do this if you make this card. <laughs> I'm probably being a little extra here, but I just thought that this would be so cute. I don't know why, but some loopies. See, that makes me nervous. Loopies make me nervous. <laughs> I don't know about the loopies. I could try, but I'm concerned that I would ruin it. <laughs> Um, okay, so I did MB1. Let's, some whimsical swirls. Um, oh, that makes sense, Tracy. Bonus depends on it. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Um, what is my lightest sort of like beigey kind of color? That's what I want to get. Maybe like an EB, mm, that's even kind of still too. Maybe I can do some of the orange though. Maybe I'll do like, a G, no, like GY2 maybe? Let's see. GY2. You used to work at Michael's? See, she knows the inside scoop. Just sixes with a tail. <laughs> I don't know. You're asking a lot of me. <laughs> um, I can try. I have, I don't know. I'm such a nervous crafter, you guys. <laughs> I try so hard, but 
like to let go and just kind of like do my thing and not worry so much about you know how it's going to turn out and oh are you sure that's going to look okay <laughs> but sometimes I just have a hard time letting go but I think this is super cute so far <laughs> I don't want to add too much because I don't want it to be like totally crazy but I think think that this is adding something exciting to it you guys let me know what you think um, I think it seems kind of cool like it gives it more of the vibe that it's kind of like blustery sort of I don't know I'm obviously just making stuff up as I go along <laughs> you guys know that about me by now <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. I want to do one more, I think. Um, like a really light, maybe like FS9. That might be good. Let's see. Because that's like a really pale, peachy sort of color. And I think, yeah. Because then I can be a little more liberal. And I don't have to worry about it being, um, like taking too much away. Because it's such a light color. All right, now I don't want to get too crazy. <laughs> Just kind of keep it uh, in the the little swoop here. Hi, D. My gosh, I feel like I haven't seen you in one of my lives in like a million years, girl. How's it going? Um, we are making some fall card. Well, I say fall cards, but we're we're on the first card. I don't know how far we're gonna get. <laughs> Um, but we're making a fall card with the Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard subscription box for September. I like this. There we go. I think that that made a big difference. Let's do a little bit more there. Yes! Oh, been going to bed early. Yeah. And I honestly haven't been on as much because I've been sick and then we were on vacation and well, I say vacation. We were only gone for like two days <laughs> um, and it was only like an hour away. So not very much of a vacation, but still it's something. Um, okay. So I really, really like the way that this has turned out. Now I kind of don't want to do anything to it, like stamp on it. Cause what if I ruin it? I'm going to kind of try to bring it closer so you guys can see, I think that this turned out so cute. Like seriously, that's adorable. So cute. Okay, so now we gotta decide about our stamp. <laughs> I could stamp up here, but that kind of takes away, if we do the large stamp, it kind of takes away from the swoopy pattern. But obviously if I stamp it on the swoopy pattern, there's that. <laughs> um, I could do, hmm, we could do autumn greetings. That's smaller. So maybe, maybe instead of the giant one, we could do um, autumn greetings. Cause then that's a little, so like it doesn't take up so much space. It could still fit up here. What do you guys think? You guys let me know. Uh, Tracy says she likes it. All right. Cause then I could just stamp it in black and then that would be kind of done. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I had that in there. This will come in handy. All right. I was obviously doing some heat embossing. <laughs> All right, let's do the top one first. All right, well, we got to get the general placement, I think, of the greetings. I may have to turn this around, actually. That'll be a first. <laughs> um, let's see. Bottom. Heat emboss on vellum. Yeah, the vellum would be cute too. I don't think that's really helping me much. Let's do it this way. <laughs> it's hard because the um, 
Ugh, Lord have mercy. The uh, greetings has that little tail at the bottom, so it kind of gets a little bit out of whack because you can't get it quite straight. All right, let's try that. It's pretty good, I think. Bottom. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna stamp it in black because <laughs> then it'll be a nice crisp sentiment on our background. And I wanna leave this card pretty plain. Like I don't want to have too much going on. I think I'm actually gonna use my scrapbook.com hybrid black ink. I've been really liking this stuff lately. <laughs> I do feel like it's going to need a little bit of something at the bottom, but I don't know what. Maybe I'll just tie a ribbon at the bottom or something. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Ooh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love that crisp sentiment. It looks so nice. Okay, so what are our thoughts? Do we want to, should I put something down here at the bottom, like a ribbon, or I think maybe a ribbon might look nice. Um, I could, uh, oh, you know what? It did come, this card kit came with some twine, some little baker's twine. It's orange. Um, let's see. We have the orange and white stripes and the orange. Because um, that could be cute. Ooh. Yeah, I think I like that. Because then it'll match, it'll pick up. Ooh, it matches so well with the rusty hinge distress oxide. <gasps> Okay, so the question is before we tie any sort of ribbon on it. This is an A2 size panel already. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and crop it, maybe. But do I wanna use a an embossing, not an embossing folder, a die, like a stitched die? Or should I just leave it and just trim it? You guys let me know what you think. Should we trim it or should we use a stitched rectangle die? I think with the stitched rectangle dies, we may end up taking off quite a bit. Let's see what the largest size. <clears throat> These are my lawn fawn ones. Yeah, so it would take off quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take off that much. That's too much. Now there is one that I have that's the full size. So it's already cut to the right side, but it would um, it would just add stitching. What do you guys think about that? Add stitching or just leave it as is? Now if we add the stitching, this will just be the card, right? So there wouldn't be any white border around it, which since this is a white card, probably doesn't really matter. Um, but there's that. What do you guys think? Should we add the little stitched rectangle and keep it the same size? Or should we trim it down so that it has a little white border on the card? <clears throat> if I need to trim, oh, you know what? I kind of want to, but I actually don't have, um, my Gemini is not plugged in. My Gemini Junior, I mean, I could get it out, but it would take a little bit of time. <laughs> um, so maybe we'll hold off on the stitched edge. It'll be fine. Okay, so we'll just trim it then. Um, let's see, four, Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to I'm trying to decide <laughs> what I want to do. 
which side I want to take because I don't want it to get too close to the edge, but oh well, it'll be fine. Because <sighs> I don't want to cut too much off of my nice bulky side because that's kind of where a lot of interest is. <laughs> um, and then I think... I'm just going, well, I think I'm going to split the difference again here. I was just going to take it all off of the, the bottom, but then I won't have too much room for my twine. So I think I'm just going to um, cut off just a little bit on both sides. My paper trimmer is getting very dull. <laughs> so I am going to need to replace that soon, the blade. Um, oh. Okay, same color cardstock, so I'm gonna use this for my card base. That's the worst, when you have like a card panel and then you go to put it on your card base and they're not the same color white. <laughs> That's like the worst. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna tie the twine around, but I'm also gonna pop this up on some foam um, just so that it has room for the twine and it gives the card a little bit more dimension. Um, let's see, I'm going to use, ooh, I've got some orange, I've got some orange foam, so that will match nicely. <clears throat> um, let's see, we need, um, 3.75 for the width. And then I'm going to do, uh, let's see, 3.75 by 5. That would be the whole thing. I'm actually going to do maybe like 4.25. This seems really weird, but I promise it will make sense. <laughs> and then I'm going to trim this piece down um, so that... <laughs> I can have a little gap for my uh, twine to go and hopefully it will still make sense. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, let me grab my tape. All right, so this is my um, scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive. It works really nicely, but I'm kind of running low. Let's see. Um, all right, so I'm just going to pop a little piece on this side. I really like that this stuff is so easy to put on, and I don't usually have too much trouble getting the backer off. I know sometimes I have not had good results. Hey, Mary, how's it going? We are testing out, well, testing out. I've unboxed it previously, but now we're trying to get some creating done with the uh, Pink and Main subscription box for September, which I have been really excited about using. <laughs> um, I feel like it's been such a long time that I've been wanting to create with it, and I just haven't had the chance. So here we are. Um, shameless plug, have you guys heard about the Collective Creators? Um, because Mary, along with Jen, Bina, and Courtney Krieber, have just launched a platform where you can subscribe and get access to card classes, tutorials, a monthly spotlight company, a spotlight creator, and a guest creator every month. And every month you subscribe, you get added to, or like more content gets added. So you will have an always increasing library of stuff to keep you going. I think that's super awesome. Um, if you haven't checked it out yet, you can go to thecollectivecreators.com and you can sign up monthly or yearly or I think six months or three months. I think there's four subscription options. And yours truly is the guest creator for the first month. Uh, so it's really cool. I love the mission and obviously I love the people. They're fabulous. So um, if you have not checked it out, I would encourage you to definitely do that. It's totally worth it. They're awesome. There's like forums. You can chat with people who are also members. Um, it's really, really cool. Oh, 
Love you, Mary. <laughs> Tracy, I don't know why I thought your message was spam or something. That's weird. That was not a spam message. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really cool. So I, um, well, let me put my twine on before I get carried away here. I almost did that thing where I get too ahead of myself and then I forget to add the thing I'm supposed to add. <laughs> um, I'm going to be lazy and use uh, super glue because that's what I do. I usually just get lazy and I don't feel like waiting for stuff to dry. So I just pop a little dot of super glue on there. Oh, thanks, Scrap and Fever. <laughs> um, I. Oh, this is like not drying as fast as I thought it would. Um, I'm really excited about this Pink and Main subscription box because I love fall and pretty much all the fall things. So this was like the perfect kit for me <laughs> uh, because swe sweater weather really is the best weather. Let's just be honest. <laughs> um, looks like the... I tried to subscribe on launch day. It looked like the credit card process, but I could not sign in. Emailed, but never heard back. Oh no. Oh, well, I bet that Mary will take care of you for sure. Um, sometimes when you first launch something, there can be some hiccups because you don't know the problems you're going to have until you have them. So um, I, I definitely think that Mary will be able to get you um, all taken care of and ready to go. Um, Fatima, it's called the Collective Creators. They are awesome. Um, and if you need help finding it too, I've got um, stuff about it in my uh, feed on Instagram. So if you're looking um, for the posts, you can link. Uh, I've got a bunch of posts that link right back to them on Instagram where they have links to their stuff. Um, but yeah, you can go to thecollectivecreators.com and um, they will definitely set you up and take care of you. Um, they are an awesome group of ladies. Like, I can't imagine a better group of people to have launched this. So I'm really excited to have gotten to be a part of it. They're super cool. <laughs> um, and I don't think Courtney is going to be there, but Jen and Mary are part of the little meetup that is going down in December for the My Favorite Things Road Trip Coloring Challenge. Well, it's the 30 Day Coloring Challenge Road Trip and it happens to be at the My Favorite Things Boutique in Florida. <laughs> Let's clarify that. Um, hey, they. Uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be a blast. Mary's gonna be there, Jen's gonna be there, I'm gonna be there, Corin's gonna be there, um, Amanda from Pear Blossom Press. There's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. We're gonna have a blast. Um, okay, I think because it wouldn't be my card without it. I think I'm going to add, if I can find my fork, let's see. Oh no, I don't know what I did with my fork, you guys. <laughs> Hold on. I've moved craft stuff and now I've lost my craft fork. Uh. Oh, found it. <laughs> I've just like moved all of my um, all of my stuff around as I've been organizing my little new craft space and all my drawers and stuff, and I forgot where I put my craft fork. <laughs> Am I hungry? <laughs> hungry for some crafts? You nailed it. <laughs> um, this is what I use to tie my bows because it works so perfect and you get these adorable, cute, perfect little ribbons of bows every single time. And it's so cute. Like seriously, so cute. <laughs> I love it. I think this is the easiest way that I've ever seen. Cause I used to be so frustrated. I'd go to tie a bow and I just couldn't do it. I'm like, I can't make it look pretty. It's so pretty on everyone else's projects, but I just can't do it. Um, and then I learned the fork method. Oh, I have a little video on it, Mary. <laughs> um, there's a video on my channel of how to do it. I really like it. It makes me smile. All right, I'm gonna kind of bunch these together on this side and put my little glue dot down. 
with super glue, of course, because why not? Hopefully it's in the place I want it. And hopefully I don't stick my finger to the super glue. Yes, there's a video on my channel. If you just go to my channel and search for like perfect bow, I think it should come right up. All right, I'm gonna separate that again so it's even. Look at that, you guys, how cute is this? Fork bow goals. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> I really, really like this card. I think this turned out so super cute. Like the little swirl of blustery autumn day. I don't know, I'm in love. I love it. Um, yes. So if you haven't checked out Pink and Main, I definitely would. They always have super cute stuff. They've got really adorable kits each month called Crafty Courtyard. I'm so thankful for Michelle. She's the sweetest ever. She's the owner of Pink and Maine. I got to meet her at Creativation and she's the sweetest ever. Seriously, she's so sweet. Um, and um, I'm just thankful that she is letting me work with their products now and again. Yeah, the twine really did add a lot to it, I think too. I think you're right. It's so cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I can't wait to photograph it and post a picture of it online. <laughs> Uh, have a spot on my shelf that's empty. That card will look awesome on it. Just say it. Mary, I love you. I should totally send this card to you. Because no one else is going to appreciate my autumn greetings card. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like it. Uh, but see, the problem is I make a card and then I fall in love with it. And then I can't bear to part with it. I'm like, I can't sell this. I can't send this to someone. It's going to stay on my shelf forever, for all eternity. <laughs> I have to keep it. No, I'll probably send this one <laughs> once I photograph it after all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I am really in love with this kit. Again, um, I did an unboxing so you can see what all is in it, but it has a ton of goodies. I'm going to use some scrap paper so you can see the stamp set. Um, awesome sweater, sweaters. Well, yes, sweaters are awesome. Awesome Sentiments is what I was going for, though. Uh, awesome Sentiments. I love this script font. Uh, it's so cute. Love these, like, the leaves are falling and autumn is calling. This is the perfect, perfect stamp set for me. And you can make your own cable knit pattern over here. So super cute. Are you posting the color combos you used? I definitely can. Yeah. Um, do you mean for the markers and stuff? I hope I can remember what I used. I'll just reference back to the video. How about this? Why don't I turn this into a live and later? Um, and then that way I can um, put the stuff that I've used as well. Uh, to rinse your hair. Okay, bye, Mary. <laughs> See you later. Um, yes, I will turn this into a live and later then. And I will um, have that edited for you guys soon. Hey, Tiffany, how's it going? We are just about finished. I just, yes, you missed it. But it's okay, because I'm gonna turn it into a live and later, so you don't have to watch the whole video. <laughs> so I'm gonna edit it so that um, it's a quick little video. You are of course cooking and eating dinner, because I'm always live at the time that you're cooking and eating. I know, it's like I plan it. <laughs> um, uh, you guys, also, I know that you guys are probably sick of hearing me say this, but I have the coolest friends ever and Tiffany is no exception. And she just posted a video that had my jaw dropping. She did an art journal page where it had a butterfly and this really pretty like reddish purple and black combo. <gasps> it's so gorgeous. You guys have to go check it out. It's a shorter video. I think it's maybe like 12 minutes or something, but it is worth it to see the creative process and how she had it all come together. I don't know, it's just really pretty. So I would encourage you, if you're looking for something to do after this, go check out Tiffany's channel <laughs> and make sure that you see that video because I'm obsessed. I really like it. Tiffany is kind of like my mixed media idol. <laughs> I aim to be as good as she is someday. Her stuff is just mind blowing. If you don't follow her already, you're messing out. Um, yes, definitely Vey. Definitely check it out. She rocks. 
<laughs> um, okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is head off for the night, um, but I will go ahead and start working on editing this card into a live and later. Um, hush, Tiffany. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm such a noob at mixed media. I feel like every time I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to put this like here maybe. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I just want to be like you someday. <laughs> um, anyway, you should message me. We need to talk about all the creativation things. Um, okay. So I'm going to let you guys go, but I will see you on Wednesday for another live video. And maybe we can either make some more stuff with this card kit or, um, I have some happy doodle stuff I want to use. I also have, um, all that dress my craft stuff that I really want to use to make some projects. So maybe some of that stuff. We'll see. Um, I love you guys all so much. I will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.